Hello everyone, this is Clue Cloyd here. Today we're going to be doing something a little different on the channel. We're going to be doing our first unboxing video and today I have with me a subscription box from Sakura Co. Uh, this is a Japanese snack subscription box. Um, usually comes in bubble wrap wrapped around the box to make sure everything's safe and secure inside the box. I went ahead and took care of cleaning that all off the outside of the box because it does have of course name address all that type of stuff on it so but just so you know usually this box does come securely wrapped in bubble wrap so you don't have to worry about any of your items getting damaged on the inside so I'm just going to go ahead I have my trusty cutter here just cut this bad boy open let's see what's inside all right so the first thing you see opening it up it says nice to meet you let's have tea all the best things are shared. Post and tag, hashtag Sakura Co. Not sure how well you can see that there. But um, yeah, this is what you see when first opening the box. This is for, um, I wanna say this is the September box that they got going right now. All right, sitting right on top of the box here, we have a postcard. These are always really nice. Um, I've done quite a few subscription boxes in the past uh, not really seen this type of thing. Usually they just have uh, whatever they're gonna say inside of the uh, little pamphlet that you get. Well, you actually get a postcard along with your box. Uh, it says, late summer greetings to our Soccer Co. family. We are so pleased to share with you the festival delights of Tokyo this month. From July to September, the city comes alive with uh, Matsuri, not sure if I said that right. Taking over every corner of the city, from the smallest suburbs to the downtown core. One of my favorite celebrations is the, oh gosh, bear with me, uh, Sumi Dagawa Hanabi tai, tai, Taikai, which first began in 1732. People dressed in summer kimono called yukata, enjoy delicious festival food, and marvel at the spectacular displays of this fireworks competition. As a fireworks competition, that's pretty cool. I mean, I know we uh, typically, what, we do fireworks uh, 4th of July. We need to make it a uh, fireworks competition. That's where it's at. So as the summer season draws to a close, we hope you enjoy the flavors of the festivities. Love, Ayumi Chikamoto. Uh, from what I understand, she is the uh, founder of the Soccer Co. box, the company. Um, we got says Tokyo Matsuri. Uh, this is volume number seven. So I've actually been getting this since uh, box number one. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually doing a review. Usually everything's really great though. Uh, we even have a welcome on the first page here. Uh, the booklets are printed. They are, um, instead of left to right, they are right to left. You still read left to right with pages, right to left, just as if you, you were reading a manga or the like. Usually it's right to left. All right, so we got uh, a welcome on the first page here. We got, um, we just got some um, insight on some of the, uh, the creators, some of the products that we have here in the box for this month. Like a uh, Kobayashi Seika, again, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Don't worry, bean happy. So there's gotta be something with beans in here. Oh yes. Now I see something about caviar, that's interesting. All right, so jumping right in here, we have, it's divided into categories. We have our snacks with fruity flavors, like Hanabi jelly, spring water, Yudich jelly, Tokyo banana manju, Melon pan, this is all sounding pretty good. Uh, handcrafted ginger cinnamon candy. That's the Sakura Co. exclusive right there. The ginger cinnamon candy. Uh, the tea for the month is usually snacks and tea. Usually, uh, that's why on the uh, the lid of the box says, uh, nice to meet you, let's have tea. It's gonna be some different snacks, some tea. Uh, usually it comes with some home goods too, that's why they neatly wrap the bubble wrap around the outside, which, as I said, a lot of subscriptions, uh, I don't really see do that. 
<clears throat> usually it's just packed inside a box. Hope it doesn't get squished. Uh, we have some ginger okashi, a four season side dish, sweet potato sachi steamed cake, uh, festival castella bites, tiramisu bomb kuchen. Not sure if I'm saying that right. Again, I apologize. Uh, Ropo manju, kobayashi mentaiko beans, shrimp and sesame aged mochi, petit kabuku crackers, uh, yukai senbei, and then it talks about candy as an art. Goes on about some of the traditions there in Japan. Three great Missouri of Ido. It talks about photo contests that they have. And they have uh, some different people. You take a picture, you hashtag it, whatever you can get featured in their little, um, little booklet there. It's pretty nice. And then, uh, of course, at the end, you have a little QR code you can scan to uh, claim a streak. You get different points uh, depending on how long uh, you've kept a um, current ongoing subscription with the box. So, really interesting. Um, going to show off some of the snacks here. Actually going to try some of these. Spicy caviar. That looks pretty cool. Oh my gosh. That looks like, I don't know, a little... Looks like a cauldron or something shaped cookie with little swans or something on it. They usually go all out. Let me see. I'll try maybe two or three snacks out of here. This is a lot. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure what that is, but that is a beast right there. It's pretty big. Oh yes, they um, packed this to the brim. Here's the exclusive of the month, ginger cinnamon candy. Got some jelly here, some more jelly. Uh, here's the uh, home goods for this month. We have a little plate with um, some kind of floral design. Usually get some, uh, I've been getting a lot of Sakura themed goods in my past few boxes. We have the uh, tea of the month, the Sencha tea. Now let's actually uh, try some of this. I want to start with the um, the exclusive for this month, the ginger cinnamon candy. Let's pop this open, see what we got going here. The ginger cinnamon. Come on. All right. That is not so bad. I like that. Uh, let me see. What else am I going to try? I got a lot of options here. I want to say um, this runs like, I want to say I'm paying like maybe 50. That's with express shipping. Um, I think express shipping may be the only option right now. But usually, because I used to uh, subscribe to one of their other boxes, Tokyo Treat used to be you could choose express shipping or just regular shipping. It takes like maybe a month to get there regularly. Express shipping, it usually comes within the same week that they ship it. So I want to say it adds like maybe $13 to the price to get express shipping, something like that. Totally worth it. I'm going to try to hurry up this um, candy here so I can try something else. So. Not gonna try one of the jellies. I did not bring any utensils going into this unboxing. So let me see. I wanna do something from a uh, fruity flavors category. There's the, uh, I don't know, let's try the banana manju. Okay, so it points out common allergens. I wanna say uh, most of these is like not anything different than what you find in the States. Uh, common allergens, soy, eggs for this one the banana manju it says inspired by the chocolate bananas are a staple at festival food stalls this manju is made with delicate sweet egg dough wrapped around a smooth white bean and banana filling 
So here's the banana man dude right here. Wish I had something to, um, there we go. Finish that ginger candy. It was actually pretty good. All right, I'm gonna try this um, banana man juice. Now, a ginger cinnamon candy, it had a very subtle ginger taste to it. It wasn't overwhelming, wasn't like spicy or anything. And uh, just a smooth, subtle cinnamon flavor that paired pretty well, like those two flavors together. So this is our banana man juice right here. This is so cool, it actually uh, kind of looks like a banana, as you can see. Uh, so this is banana manju. It's a white bean and banana filling, so... Mmm. It's actually pretty good. You would think, oh, white beans. Like, I don't know how many people feel about beans, but this is actually... That's pretty good. Like you don't really you don't really know the beans are there unless you read the booklet. Oh, this has beans in it. I'm really only getting bananas. Like the beans is just a texture. That was pretty good. I see everybody can uh, find something from another category here. Okay, so we did the exclusive. We got one of our fruity flavors in. Let's see. What else am I gonna try? We got some rich cakes here. The sweet potato, steam cake, a Castella bite, Ropo Manju. Let's try the Ropo Manju. We'll just try the different Manju here. Uh, let's see. Common allergens, egg and wheat. Ropo or six-sided manju is a sweet that has been enjoyed in Japan since the Meiji era. Again, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. From 1868 to 1912. So called for its cube shape, it is made with a high quality wheat flour based batter and filled with the subtle sweetness of azuki red bean. So this also has uh, beans in it, a red bean paste. Uh, Ropo Manju. That's these uh, square ones here. Yeah, here we go. Go ahead and try one of these bad boys. Okay. That's uh, interesting texture on the outside. It's kind of dry. Pretty solid. It's supposed to be like a cake. I was, um, that's pretty interesting. It has a familiar taste to it. I'm not sure how to describe that. That is, it's not bad. It's not bad though. It's, it's really interesting. It's a bit different. I really like the flavors we got going on there. The texture is nice. It's pretty good. I like that. All right, let's move on. Um, here we have savory snacks. Uh, there's shrimp and sesame. Senbei. Uh, let's try the uh, Kobayashi Mintaiko beans. Hopefully I said that right. So, uh, common allergens, fish and wheat. So this has fish in it. This would be interesting. Uh, these crispy, crunchy beans flavored with spicy cod roe from Fukuoka. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Uh, the Fukuoka prefecture are the perfect snacks for walking through the festival grounds and enjoying the entertainment. Okay, so, Mintaiko beans, let's see, oh, here we go. This one right here says Beans Tokyo, spicy caviar. So, got like, what, some 
I want to say it's like cod, cod, caviar. This will be interesting. Kind of smells like peanuts. Kind of getting, can kind of smell the fish a little bit. Kind of tastes like there's a peanut in there, honestly. It was a bit spicy. It's like having like spicy peanuts. I don't really taste the fish. It's like a spicy, crunchy. It's not really not that hot. It's like a peanut with this crunchy texture around it, crunchy shell. All kinds of spices. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah, so I'm rather pleased with this box. I'm looking forward to trying the rest of these snacks here. Obviously don't have um, the time or uh, the room to really try all of these snacks right at the moment. But yeah, this is a um, pretty good selection. I would highly recommend this box to, um, to anyone that maybe you've not uh, really given subscription boxes a try. I would definitely recommend these be one of the boxes. Uh, that you would start with. You get all kinds of different snacks that you otherwise wouldn't try. It's always really interesting to see what you, you get in these boxes. So I've, I've been pretty pleased. As I said, this is like my seventh box I've gotten. I've always been pleased with it. Uh, so I wanted to do an unboxing show off on my channel. I'll probably get in the habit of uh, doing unboxings of these maybe once a month or so. Um, you know, whenever I get another box in, and um, who knows, maybe get into doing some other unboxings. This is really the only one that I have right now. But uh, yeah, if I see some other products, I think would be worth reviewing on the channel. Um, you know, just uh, stick around, and see what I come up with. Anyway, uh, this has been Clue Cloyd. Uh, this is. Our unboxing of Sakura Co. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, until next time, y'all take care.